How you doing? We made it, my friend. Hey, how you doing? Hey, good, good. good. Hey, how you doing? I never thought I'd come back here again yeah. and see you again so soon. Yeah, good. Hey, this is Michael. Hi, Ernie. Ernie, 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 Ernie Moore, Mark. Okay. How you doing? Good. Yeah, you can leave that truck and trailer right there. Right there, Mark. Yeah, no problem. Well, I've watched some of your videos here. Like, there's snow. Uh, we're gonna get gas. Road closure. Uh, transport's lined up. It was a <laughs> show. Like the first three days, and then once we got, I thought. We got to Winnipeg, it took us three days to get to Winnipeg, which is halfway. It took us a day and a half to get to Toronto, which was the other half a day, because we were doing. So where's your goal, where are you trying to get tonight? Uh, wherever, about eight, 900 K. Because of four days, 3,600 K. So yeah, we gotta so do eight, 900 a day. Good for you guys. You guys, I had to go through here, and I seen you. I seen where you uh, sand her down, you painted her all up, and you wanted to. And then we room. crept the car, and then kicked the crap out of it. <laughs> well, we drove it, and then the guys at Fix Auto Network there, they the Fix Network said, we'll detail your car. So we drove to Milton from uh, Toronto, like the, the, the morning after. Then we said, okay, we're going to load the car into the trailer so it stays clean. Right. One of the cables came like this way. I took Blair's going like, sun was right in my eyes. Blair's doing this going, whoa, whoa. I thought he's saying, go, go. So he scratched the crap out of the fender, took a huge chunk out of the door, like just 4,000 K with nothing. And then I screwed it up in 12 feet. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna see stuff in here that you've never seen before in your entire life. You may have seen it, but thought not this many at one spot. Okay. I tell you what, but the thing that I don't understand why do you have a cutout tractor in there? Apparently, Rob bought that on a whim. <laughs> <laughs> He's related to him. I got four cattle cars asking okay, why. Okay, let's go in here and take a gander. Okay, so what's, what you're going to see in here, fellas? You're going to see cars here that are consigned to go to auction. Cars are in, in here to go uh, for work in the restoration shop. And also cars are in here for winter storage. And we store cars in the winter. And then uh, there's a different variety of cars all the way through here. And uh, like you say, uh, We'll point it right up, but as soon as you walk in the door, look straight up, you're going to see a wooden shell of a body that would actually go onto a chassis where they nail the tin on it. Okay, okay. Like, like the buck. The buck, yeah. The buck, yes. Oh, wow. Is this the wall of shame? Yeah, yeah this, is, this is our... <laughs> hey, guys, well, welcome to RM. My name's Ernie Morrow here. I'll explain what we do in this facility here. Um, we restore cars for customers to compete on the 18th green of Pebble Beach. Okay. okay. And so... Uh, to win Pebble Beach is like winning the Stanley Cup, the Super Bowl, the Green Jacket, and Golf. Okay. So we start, yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. You got the Riddler, same thing. Yep. So this is on the antique side of it all. So we've been starting here, uh, so really heavy competing in the late 90s to learn what it takes to win. And then we got our first win, and we've won Best of Show eight times in the last 24 years. Wow, eh? wow. And Pebble Beach. So this is our. Uh, you guys got a lot of competition yes, at yes. the now, right? yeah, yes. now, Now, here, just, to, just, to, just for the audience. These cars are just not pictures. You have built these cars. Every one of them. Yep. Like every yeah. bolt, nut and bolt has been off this stuff and you've yeah, built it. restored every one of them. Yep. Now, now there's something I would like to explain to these guys about when you're doing this process, about the process of what it is when you're fixing these cars, how you can't change every part and build a new no, one. No. You have somebody come in, they do a survey on it, and they say you can fix that rust hole, you can't fix that rust yep, hole, so you can fix this one, and it's all documented. Very well, every so when the car comes in, we uh, put a technician on it, and we start from the front bumper to the back bumper, and we make sure, remember these cars are sometimes 70, 80 years old. So anyways, we gotta make sure that they are correct front bumper and back. Make sure you get the right gauges in them, the right profile of the bumpers, the right grill. Everything, because these cars have been through the mill from it, being through by their owners. Now, another question. I know you don't like talking about this, but what is the average cost of these cars? What, what are they worth when they're done? Well, some of these cars here, what makes them so expensive is that they're, they're only one up. They're only one up. Now, yeah. again. And so you can pay anywhere uh, anywhere from 500000 up to $2 million for a car. If it's one up, it's got a lot of history and yeah. provenance to it. So, uh, so anyways, come on hey, down we here. got those. We got gunny wheels. Yeah, we yeah, got, got something to yeah, share with yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah, are, are those the ones that actually yeah. roll? Yeah, they roll. Yeah, 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 we're supposed to be getting a set Yeah, of they those. roll. They work good because yeah. they're so narrow, eh? Yeah. Mike? 1970 Roadrunner. Yep. Yes, I had one. Is this a Hemi car or not? No, 383. Yep. And the story on that is the guy finally got it restored. Not by us. Uh, it's just here for some mechanical work. We yep. just put AC in it. But the guy bought it. He's 16 years old. Now he's in uh, his mid-50s and yeah. he still owns it. Yeah, it was wow. a high school sweetheart car. I'll be honest with you guys, if you're going to build or buy a muscle car, I mean, sorry, let me rephrase that, a sports car from this era, that's the holy grail. Not the Gullwing, I mean the Roadsters, because 
They are so well built, they're independent suspension, fuel injected, delay the motor over for center gravity, manual transmission, synchro transmission. Yeah. Uh, they got three and a half inch brake shoes on the what front. Years? Oh, Built the 54 gall wings the first year that they went yep. up to uh, late 56, early 57. Yeah. Then they went from 57 to 63 to Roadsters. Because yeah. my buddy has a 60. 60 it, Roadster? Yeah, Roadster. 59, yeah. 59 or 60. 60. Yeah, and it's a Mercedes. Yeah, have you Francis. Ever, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever yeah. driven it? No. I tell you, once you drive one of those, it's like the European people were ahead of us in the sports car world. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were ahead in the 50s, built the big luxury Cadillacs, the big... Yeah, boat yeah, the big boats, boats. Yeah. Yep, exactly. We are, we are way ahead. Now, here's the question of the day. What does it tip the scales at, this car that you want us to buy and fix? Pardon me? What does, it, it, tip, cost? How, what does what, it cost? What, what does a project cost? I mean, was there well, lots I, of them out there? I, I, no, the projects are out there, but the thing is... Uh, what can you pick one up for? But what? Oh, yeah, no, they're up there. They're, they're, <laughs> not they're, the Galwigs, not yeah, the Galwigs. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. not the Galwigs, what's roasters, the other one? What, roasters, what, roasters, what are the roasters worth? Uh, you could probably buy one that uh, needs restoration, and you're going to tip close to a million just buying it. Yeah, okay, sure. okay, yeah. it's out of our price. We'd like, like two of them. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is V16, and what I'm about to tell you about this motor, this is 452 cubes. Okay, dual ignition system, okay, and believe it or not, this is 1930 and it's a roller cam motor. No sh Sorry. It's a roller motor. That's a roller motor, okay? I see how careful you, uh, you're being with that. Yeah, 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 roller motor. Yeah. So you have two ignition systems, okay? You have one ignition system runs one cylinders, one yeah. bank of cylinders. Yeah. The other ignition system runs the other set of bank cylinders. So what you do is, there's two sets of points in there. The first set of points are fixed. They're mounted to a plate. Yeah. So you check your timing, say it's eight degrees base. Yeah. You go to the other set of points and say it's at 13 degrees base. You move the points on the cam to get it to eight degrees. That synchronizes the distributor. Okay, yeah. So you move the second set of points on the so plate. You just adjust them one. You move them around the plate, around the cam, so they open and close at the, yeah. at the same time. Once you get the ignition system timed, then you start working on the carburetor system. And this is a 1930 V16, 452 cubes. How much horse? 160. <laughs> and it's a roller. It must, that's bizarre. And I see it comes with its own personal oil can. That's kind of cool. Yeah, the oil can, yeah, that's for uh, oiling up everything. But that's a greaser for the water pump. Okay, and that's just for the linkage. That's a factory can. Again, no air cleaner in any of this stuff. No, it comes up through here, down through here. What was own. the life expectancy of these vehicles with no air cleaner on them? You know what? That's a good question, Avery, because I don't really know because these cars in this area ran on gravel roads, right? Yeah, so yeah. you yeah. think yeah, the yeah, dust yeah. would be coming oh, up. Yeah, ran on, ran on gravel. But it's an updraft yeah. system. And then, uh, and you can look at the valve train in here. Yeah. You, can, you can see the valve train, it's all right there. And that's it's hydraulic. Cool. And it's hydraulic motor, roller. And so you have a pinto valve for your lifter. Okay. So it adjusts just like a lifter on, on a Just like a Chevy. Yeah, Chevy yeah. lifter, yeah. yeah. But it's all done on the rocker shaft. That's bizarre. These things are so well engineered, it's unbelievable. And when these things are all dialed in running, they just sit there and like that Duesenberg. Yeah, yeah. That Duesenberg. And, and, yeah. and then think about this, guys. This is built right in Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. Just right? across the border. Across the border. Well, here, here's your fuel pumps, guys. Okay, so picture this fuel pump. There's one on each side. Yeah. Okay, so underneath here, you have manifold vacuum going up to a can up into here. Yeah. So on the other side of this, there's a line that runs down through the frame, down to, to the, the gas tank. tank. Yeah. So there's check valves in there. So when the check valve drops, the float drops, it opens up the check valve, it applies full manifold vacuum into this canister, which creates suction, yep. sucks the fuel up. When the float gets to the top, it shuts off the check valve, atmospheric pressure, shuts the vacuum off, and the gravity feeds to the carburetor. And so, it's, so, so it's up and down, down, up and down all down, day long. Oh. You hear clicking your cycle. Yeah. And so when you go to shows to have judging done to make sure you didn't, you didn't fool for electric pump when yeah. somewhere hitting the car, the judge will actually listen to that cycle. To make sure that, it's, yeah. that they yeah. actually got the right part in there yeah. so they're not trying to sniff yeah. them. Yeah, that's right. So if yeah. you go to show you put an electric fuel pump on there, like a real quiet one, hit yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and this does the cycle, you'll lose a point of judging. Yeah. So they all stand there and wait for this to do its cycle. Ch -ch -ch. They'll hear. That's I didn't cool. think you could get them with a 383, really. I thought they were all 440s. And oh, sorry, sorry. 440. Yeah, okay. 383 over there. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. 440, yeah, right. right. You're right. 440. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 383 over yeah, there. Okay. I got mixed up. Hey, right. I don't want to correct you on anything. Yeah, yeah no, 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 place, but yeah, no, yeah. no. No, no, you're right. This right. is just two, eh? Yeah, yeah. That's all. This is all that they cut. I think nine inches off the front end oh, of a really? second corner. I didn't know that. And then these were just for turning the corners at 200 miles an hour because the tires were up now. 
It's not for air, right? It, it, it wasn't for the aerodynamics. I just learned something. I didn't know that. 200 miles an hour. Well, they banned them after the first year because they won just about every race. They said, no, no, you guys, we're going to dis disallow them because the aerodynamics were so good. But they won, They built these to kick ass in NASCAR and they just kicked Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, it's a uh, fuel injection. Original color? Yep. yep. White with the red. Yeah, top removable top. Pretty class. And then uh, they lay the motor down for the center line of gravity. Yep, so it handled uh, better. Oh, fuel injection pump down. It's yep. uh, unbelievable. These cars are so well built. And here's a real thing, cool. Look right here, guys. See, it's tubular chassis. Oh, so you can literally lift all the white off, put a seat on the belly floor pan, go for a go-kart ride. Where's that? Really? This is all tubular chassis. All through the whole car. It's all tubes. Yeah. Nope. Look at this. Sport coops and all that. So oh, you get the headlights. You, uh, cranks up by hand. <laughs> and then you put them back down. Yeah. And also the spokes on the other side. Way the more other reliable side. than them damn vets, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what's this? The old spokes has to crank the other one up? Yeah, you crank the other one. Spokes has to crank the other one up. So, so see? On the, the other side. The yep. engines are backwards, Matt, and the trannies are here. So when they smack the, like the engine's backwards, and the, this is front wheel drive. <laughs> So that's just amazing techno. The guy, Cord was way ahead of his time, right? Yeah. So look at the shifter in the inside here. here guys. Take a look at the shifters in here. This is wild. Like wild, the shifter, man. Holy you know? moly. Like, look at the shifter right okay, here. So, so now there. that's a little four speed shifter right yep. there. Okay, yep. so that goes electric to vacuum to mechanical. So that electric shifter yep. runs through controls down here. Yeah. Comes up front, underneath this front valence pan. Yeah. Runs a signal to here. Yep. Moves the vacuum rod. Yep. Moves the uh, bell crank on the uh, shifter on the side of a transmission shifter rails. Couldn't have made it any simpler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's why uh, if you have a vacuum problem, it doesn't shift. If you have an electrical problem, don't shift. And if you got a bind between two gears, don't shift. This is like just getting started in, on the. Uh, and again, what year is this? 37. 37. Again, and we think we got her ruled by the ass now by Triptonic. Yeah. yeah. And it was already. Okay. Yep. That's a 38. Well, there's a, that's a really interesting company, every because Cadillac had the flathead motor start in the early 20s. Yep. Then they went to the overhead valve engine, yep. V16, V12. Yep. Then that was in the early 30s. 38, they went back to the flathead again. Why? Ran better? Let them know. To get the hood loaded. That was that the V16 ah, in that? Yeah, because yeah, they were. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we yeah, just picked up the 32. The V16 in that, eh? Yeah, so we're going to yep, chop it. They wanted a real low motor. Yeah, yeah. Bit. They flattened right in. So I mean, so 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 is this thing gonna stay? No, no, stay no. Like we're this? fitting. We're fitting them right now. Okay, we're yeah. Just right fitting right them. I was you know, primer. We're just fitting them. Yep. Yeah, because like the whole rest of the car is done. Yeah. I was just wondering. No, no. We're just fitting the fenders. Oh, the what does this car weigh? Six thousand pounds. About the same as our pickup Dodge our Ford. Same as a one-ton Ford. And their selling feature for this car was Fred Nogues Duper when they built the chassis. They said this car would do 100 mile an hour in second gear. How fast will you top in? Well, we never pushed them. But they, <laughs> they, they, they'll crank. Yeah. They, well over it. Yeah, they'll yeah. crank. Now, here's the next question. How do you get them wowed up? We're brakes. Brakes. Big brakes. It's hydraulic. Well, it is, eh? Yeah, it's hydraulic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's hydraulic. Power. 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 Vacuum boost power. Yeah, I tell you what. This is a 1917 American French chassis. Yeah. The guy built this body, put this body on it. Come on up, Charlie. Oh, Matt. <laughs> Matt. I tell you, Mike. This thing motors. I go, yeah, it's scary. I wouldn't want a chain to break and have your arm hanging out the side of the door, though. Yeah. Let's see. This look, at the, look at the chain drive. What yeah. the f***? Matt, you can't swear like Excuse that. Excuse my language. We're going to yeah. have to edit that. Well, of course we're going to edit this. Yeah. That is yeah. Rough. So anyway, brakes. Yeah, brakes, yeah, brakes, yeah, brakes. So does it show some of the passengers <laughs> running the brakes? <laughs> Stop! No, no, the steering column. We had steering column over repair. Do you want a picture, Charlie? You want a picture? Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay. What's, what's this yeah. thing here, here, how's it going, Charlie? Hey, glad to meet you. Yeah. Yep. You guys yep. do yep. some amazing <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, the other one's like uh, 60 degrees. Yeah. Avery. Yes. Get in there. Get in here. Oh, man. Almost both of you. Oh, my yeah. God. Look at okay, this. right? <laughs> You're the sandwich, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> There you are. Yeah, this place is you want. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say, I want one with both here. ones, okay, too. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Get in there, go, guys. Go for Come it. on, guys. Come on. Guys. 
stuff. I really appreciate you guys like that in here because this is cool stuff. It's great. I mean, I've seen articles on you guys' this place. I just never thought that we'd actually make it here, right? Oh, yeah, I guarantee you. I was looking at the Wall of Shame over yeah. there. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Remember, stay tuned. We've got many more exciting adventures to share with you guys.